Howard B. Wigglebottom woke up very worried. The Pup Scouts Good Manners competition is in five days, and his team is not ready at all. Uh. Oinky keeps forgetting to say excuse me when he burps or passes gas. That is not nice. Joey does not say excuse me when he bumps into people. That is not nice. Why is your nose so big? Kiki needs to learn words that make people feel good. She is not nice. The Snorton twins have trouble waiting their turn and cut in line. That is not nice either. Buzz coughs without covering his mouth and does not wash his hands after going to the bathroom. That is not nice and dangerous too. Poochie, so uncool and not nice still says bad words when he is angry. And Allie does not say excuse me when she interrupts grown-ups. Good luck! That is not nice. How can the team get ready in time for the competition? We are so behind. How about a really good coach? said the little voice in his head. Every team needs a coach. Howard listened. After asking several grown-ups for help, Howard found the best manners coach ever. Teach them manners, please. Ms. Owley. Howard was very excited. The team was going to learn good manners for good, besides doing well in the competition. Ms. Owley got to work right away. Uh, uh, she watched each kid's manners at home, Achoo! school, the park, and stores. Not your turn yet. Everyone on the team needed better manners. To have good manners is to do what makes people feel good and comfortable. Then she told the team a little secret. To have the best manners ever, we must repeat the magical little words. I care. Repeat them many, many times. I care. I care. I care. I care. Sorry for not covering my face. We care and we are sorry. Now, let us go out there and practice. I care. Oh, well, sorry. Okay. Nice hat, sir. Next. After you, please. <coughs> Excuse me for my loud burp. Four days later, Ms. Owley's magical little words had worked wonders. The team's manners had gone from bad to great. A funny thing happened too. The kids felt really happy about themselves as they practiced making others feel good and comfortable. And yes, they did really well at the competition. Bunch of manners, bunch of manners.